Hello all, lucky nobody here, and today we will die a lot probably. So that's actually nothing new, but I thought you should know. And today we will have jungling. And this map has two diamonds, but I'm pretty sure it won't be another speed challenge. Also you'll notice this part after you warp in is different as well, it's not the jungly ruiny thing themed anymore, it's with the same snow thing. How the snow and ice survives here when there's rainforest outside, I do not know. How did I lose my mask? Give my mask back. The plant ate my mask. Usually I can jump like that just fine. That plant just decided to eat my mask. Ooh, John mask. And the plants. And I think I know where the secret is. But I'm also pretty sure it's... Oh, actually I'm not sure at all. So, I will just try and get to the secret first. I will land from the blue platform fiasco. I haven't learned from all the times I've fallen, though. But basically, you jump on this and get here. The secret, te secret teleporter. And, speaking of the red gem, some of you might remember the name of this map. But anyway, this is the area for the secret maps you get from hidden teleporters. And this I like this place, it's a nice reference to the first game, even though I don't like that game or have played it much. But you can see in the background there are the three islands from the first Crash Bandicoot game. I think it's nice, I didn't actually know this the first time I played Crash Bandicoot 2, but I know I do. And Crash Bandicoot 1 did have three islands, even though I can only see two. The, I'm guessing the one is hiding. I just go here. I'm pretty sure this will get me the red diamond I've been running about. So that's one problem solved. Which probably means I will get the other death, deadly things. The other diamond from the first map of the second level. I will probably be getting death a lot. And you can't get those lives without the damn seal. Oh well, this is all bonus death. Note the death animation is slightly different than when you get killed by nitros and when you get killed by enemies. Crash plays a flute thing. See? No flute. I don't see how that's important or why that it is, but it, it still is, and being is important. So anyway, I have already forgotten what I have said, or what I was about to say. All I know is I will die a lot. Hoping I won't run out of lives, I haven't, I didn't. The last time I played, I'm pretty sure. This is mask is back. Let's try saving the seal this time. Careful crash, careful. Lights up. Damn me and my jumping skills. Or lack of. That was dangerous. Oh right, that's not an arrow, that's an exclamation. I knew that, I know this that immediately. Let's see what's up here. Lives, probably. Ooh, mask. Ah. Anyway. Let's try getting on this metal crate. And we can jump without lives. We don't care about apples, so let's just go through it. 
and Super Saiyan Crash away. Note that those things won't be coming down when you have Super Saiyan, which is helpful. Also means, damn your gravity! I demand flying Super Saiyan Crash. As you can see, ooh, this happens for the first time. If you die a lot and respawn at the same place, eventually you will get a pity mask. Which is kinda insulting. You know what? I'm not going to comment. I did that on purpose to get rid of the pity mask. That's my excuse. Even though that's not the case. It could be the case. Anyway, the momentum uh, has a way of surviving even if you hit a thing with stuff. At least I got those lives this time. Damn it! So I I hit that, but I still had some momentum, left, so some jumps will be tricky. And these lives up here will be are gone. So even though the mask say their lives will not. Well at least masks stay. That's nice. These lives will be gone as well. But that mask is gone. Yay. Uh, even though the mask will not save me from the thing that kills me the most. Gravity. Okay. Okay. Slowly now. That's not slowly. Okay. Okay. Am I? Am I fine now? Yes. Okay. That's a lot of penguins. Why are they all spinning? Yeah. Why am I dying? That went right. How I saw it would go. Die. Also, you can miss the diamond there. I've done it. I've missed the diamond when you hug the wall. When you go past that damn red diamond. But now I just have to get to the next checkpoint without dying. And I'm not going to bother with the spawn stage. Because we already got that grey diamond before going to the crates here and we probably missed some there. Since we are in the middle of the map. But if I didn't get that checkpoint and died before it, I would have to start the challenge red diamond thing all over again. Which I assume would be hilarious for you. And pure torture for me. Anyway, as you can see, there are. We are looking at the grey gem, so there's no transparent. Boxing here, but there would be if you hadn't got that blue gem and you were in the first map. Just like to emphasize that you can figure out how to get things, even though this red gem was kind of odd. You could try the box platform and hope something happens when you reach the thing. It's kind of obvious though. We got it. And I have no idea how much time there was. Also, you can you can go past these levels now without having to fight the bosses. But you can fight the bosses later again. If you just hold the triangle and go down. Which I won't show you, I don't want to fight the Baru again. It would just take time. But you can fight all the bosses again using that way. I don't... You know, it's just for fun, I suppose. If you want to show your friends how cool you are when you beat the bosses. Or, or want them to try. Or something. You can do whatever you want. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Except... No! No! Don't go down 
Just took me and they close. Back up! Not down. Yes, up is good. Glad you realized that. Anyway, I'm done. See you all in the next life.